Hello. This video uh, will talk, it's an introduction, it's the first of a series of videos on applied Python programming skills. It's especially intended for people who come from other programming languages and what I want to accomplish is to have them do things the Pythoniac way, which will result in more efficient programs, more readable programs, and shorter programs, hopefully. Um, so let's get to it. The first thing that I'm going to do in this video is to say hello world, is to be able to print hello world. You should have Python installed in your platform. I'm using uh, uh, Mac OS, which is very similar to the Linux setup. But if you're using Windows, what you need to know, and I'm going to write it here so you remember, is to what you want to Google and set Python up so that you can run the Python shell from the command line. Okay, you want to Google that if you don't know how to do it. Once you can do that, it's easier. So in uh, in the, the tools that I'm going to use for these videos are going to be a text editor. It can be a text editor of your cho choice. I chose a very simple one. Okay, this is the simplest of text editors that I can that I can write in is just writing text. And then a command line or terminal window. In Windows, for Windows users, use PowerShell. PowerShell. Don't just use the simple command line. I think PowerShell is a much better choice. But that's just my opinion. Now, let's go to Python. The first thing that we're going to do is to say hello world. And we're going to go into the Python shell to do this. To go into the Python shell, you go into your command line or terminal and you type the word Python, assuming Python is installed and you're able to run it from the command line. So here we're in the command line uh, shell, in the Python shell. This is Python 2.79, the Python that I'm working with. I also have Python 3, which has slight differences and I'm going to point them out. So the first thing is to say hello world. If you're in Python 2. Point something, you will say print space hello world and that prints here the string or the text hello world when I say string I mean text okay in computer if you if you already know how to program you know what I'm talking about you know the string is the data type for text now uh, anything that I type in, in the Python shell is evaluated immediately and executed. So for example, if I do 3 plus 4, I'm going to get 7 right away. Okay. Now, in Python, um, in Python 2 point something, okay, if I do this, uh, 3 divided by 4, I'm going to get a 0 because what it's doing is dividing the integer 3 by the integer 4 and it's only giving me the integer part of that result. If I wanted to divide 3 by 4, and get the decimal parts, I should divide a decimal 3 by a decimal 4, for example. And that's going to give me the decimal parts. Anyways, the point is, you know how to print Hello World, and you know that you can do some math and it will be evaluated immediately. Now, to end this video, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing in Python 3 because it's slightly different. So I'm going to execute a shell for Python 3. If you have Python 3 installed, you just type, type Python. I have Python 2 point something and 3 point something installed, so I have to, you know, I, I created this Python 3 command to help me go into Python 3 and not Python 2. But if you want to print something here, you will type in, if you want to print hello world, you'll type print Hello world. Notice that I have surrounded hello world with parentheses, which is something I didn't do before. And in Python 3, if you do 3 divided by 4, you do get 0 0.75. I'm having a little trouble here, but I'll, I'll do it. You do 3 divided by 4, and you get 0 0.75 in Python 3. Okay? So that is this video. Um, I'm going to talk about other stuff in the next one.